Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message. Now this week I am going to be pulling some cards because I posted on all of my various platforms asking, you know, what do you want to know? Now I'm going to be focusing on questions that a lot of people can relate to. That's what we're going to be doing. Something that's very specific just to you or your situation. That is a personal reading. You can get that at angelsouls444.com. If you want a live session, this coming week is booking up. So reach out to me, angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Email me for the live sessions, whether that's a live reading or if you want to set up a live course. Courses I'm offering right now would be connecting with your angels. We do one-on-one -on -one coaching through that process or learning angel mediumship. That's four one-hour courses. You can take all of them. One of them doesn't matter. Okay. You can do it however you want to do it. So make sure you're signing up for that. Follow me on other platforms. Uh, the R platform. Okay. If you can't figure it out, I'm sorry. But uh, I can speak a little more freely on that platform. I'm also on the Clock app, TT. I've been going live there. So if you follow me there, you'll know when I'm going live. We can talk about spiritual topics. The last time I went live on the Clock app, there was only a few people who came. So that's fine. I gave them free readings. I will not be doing that all the time. So if you're one of those people who's like, oh, I'm only going to follow you to get a free reading, uh, maybe, maybe don't. Because... Follow if you're really interested in spiritual growth, contributing something good to this world, being kind, having an open heart, having a different perspective. That's what we do here. Okay. Is that everything? Oh, my podcast. <laughs> have I been busy or what? Yes, I have. Okay. So <laughs> I also have the Angel Souls podcast that is on Spotify. You'll find the links for all of that down below. All right. I feel like a lot of these questions I'm looking at them right now, a lot of these can be combined together. I'm going to start with this one. Uh, the current issues with the tech job market slash layoffs, will it steady itself or stay volatile? It never needed to be volatile. Remember, a lot of these hirings happened during 2020 because we were having to do everything online. So a lot of people, you know, were getting hired and these places were over hiring. All right. So this is just a natural process. This is not something I think that people need to be terrified of. Um, it's just equalizing. And I feel like. Mm, OK, so it's a different issue, they're saying. There's the, the tech industry and why all those layoffs are happening is because of poor management, quite frankly, and um, misjudging how much they were going to need in the way of help. Also, there were some things that were expected in the tech industry that haven't quite taken off. So there might be another, you know, as time goes on, wanting another hiring boon where they suddenly want to just bring everybody back, right? Uh, so, so yeah, that's just tech industry specific. As far as other industries that are having these massive layoffs, it is because of what I've been talking about for quite some time which is this being a destruction year to make way for abundance. So the message that's coming through here, I know that um, obviously people don't want to be laid off. They don't want to lose their income. But just about every person that has been laid off, it has been because they're supposed to go in a different direction. Remember, everybody has their sole contract, right? So we're seeing this. You might say, well, that's ridiculous. How can tens of thousands of people all have the same sole contract? I didn't say that they have the same sole contract. I didn't say that. As a collective, we are being asked to wake up to what we hold as important, what we give our energy to. And that is shifting. Okay. So all these people are going to be fine. They're going to be all right. But that is the natural sort of rumbling around that. Now let me pull a couple of cards around that issue. Oh, I just bumped my microphone. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Around this issue, we have the emperor. So power structures are being tested. Okay. And that's what's going on. Remember I said it's like a lot of mismanagement. And uh, so like a lot of these people I'm feeling where now there's been lots of layoffs. 
it was sort of like, we want to make sure we're ahead of the game. We're going to make sure that we're cutting edge. We're there for, you know, anything new and that something new has yet to unfold. I'm going to do this whole podcast, this next podcast on how people diminish spirituality and the work we do here. Here's an example of this, right? If anybody paid attention to what a lot of spiritual practitioners have been talking about, whatever kind of esoteric art you follow, you would know that this is the year that things need to deconstruct so that something new can be born of this. Well, this is where people are getting all up in their power and saying, I want to be the one known for breaking the mold. I want to be, uh, I want this to be my legacy, right? Focusing more on things that might be self-serving, right? As opposed to what's what's really on the horizon. They're not listening to their intuition. They're not listening <laughs> at all. Okay, so Queen of Michael. I'm just listening. There's, this is another thing. Michael is cutting, right? Like cutting it off. And this feels like the emperor got out of control. Something needed to be corrected. Now, what's interesting and why I paused, I wanted to make sure I had this correctly before I moved on. Sorry, there's too much coming in all at once. <laughs> the balancing with this other divine, uh, divine feminine aspect heading in the wrong direction we got to step up but yet she is less considered less powerful than the emperor okay this makes me feel like the people are feeling a kind a certain kind of way about what's going on and they're exuding a power that they're not even realizing there's an energy that's being put out there okay now some of you might say well what are you saying because this is what people love to do i could preach on this all day let me do every, let me put all this energy into twisting what someone is going to say. <sighs> Let's not, okay? I'm not the one, okay? I'm just not the one to be doing that with. But this is, you know, basically people not manifesting a layoff for themselves unless that's what's right for them and they got to go in a different direction. But this is saying, we're going to cut this off. This is getting us nowhere. This power struggle is getting us nowhere. We're not accepting it anymore. And I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But there are yellow roses in there. So let's talk about that. Roses are associated with angels in general. It's considered a very high frequency scent, right? And it is known to draw in angels, high angelic frequency. Uh, the light angels, the good angels, right? Uh, and so that's why we use rose water. You can do that for your home. You might want to do that if you clean Always make sure you, if you clean and you smudge, you got to like replace that energy with something. The smudge just clears out. So I always like to go around in every corner around windows and doors and you spray your rose water around or you place your rose water and ask angels to come in. Angels of God's pure love and light to come in and guard your home, right? So there's something about this feminine energy. Let's get another card. Ten of Gabriel, we're done. Look at this. Oh, guys. Okay. Ten of Gabriel is like, we're just, this said, well, let me just read this one. Ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. This is what we're talking about here. People are fed up. They're fed up. So what would be interesting? Nobody's ever going to do this, but what would be interesting? All these people who were laid off. Did you like your job? <laughs> did you? I mean, probably a lot of people would say, yeah, sure, fine. But why did you like it? If all of your bills were paid... If all of your material needs were met, would you do the job? No. So this is sort of the energy of the worker bees fighting back. And this is how people... Oh, sorry. I, for, I haven't used cards in a while. I forgot it. There's a glare on them. Okay, sorry. So um, this is like the people fighting back. But this is this feminine energy. This feminine energy. It's feeling. It's emotions. And this is where we've been for the longest. This is what is ending, okay? This is what we're done with. So there, I think that's very interesting. And I think it's very promising. So don't see it as a bad thing. Don't see it as a bad thing. Now, I will say um, there's a lot of social narcissism. That is a thing. Social narcissism coming out. And it was very evident in the comments, some of the comments under the post that I put up. And this 
it, it was disheartening to me. Um, I have since taken that, that person's comment down. It was about a certain conflict where it's been very popular to choose sides and do all of this. And the person asked the question, I gave the honest answer, which I think if you any decent human being probably would have seen it that way. I, I, that sounds like <laughs> you're only a decent human being if you agree with me. No, this is a, an angelic message that was coming through. And I think any person who would be against innocent people being harmed would have seen some truth to that at least. Maybe not agree with it wholly, but you know, some truth to it. This person had such, I don't like using the, the D word here, but like such a well, we'll say dark, okay? Such a dark energy reaction to it that it gave me the creeps. It gave me the creeps. And it was such narcissistic injury around this. And actually the person's response was uh, sort of amping up a stereotype about a people, the very people she's supposed to be backing up. So I thought that was interesting. And again, like I said, it was very disheartening because it shows me that people aren't ready to have a deeper discussion. Some people, I guess. But watch out for the social narcissism where people are claiming to be um, behind a social cause, but they don't really care about the people. Because if they did, they wouldn't be acting like that. Okay. So again, that person has since been removed, blocked. I didn't block them here. So maybe if they see this, they'll pop up again. I'll block them. But I just want to put that out there because again, I was like, oh, this is serious. This is off track. This is not okay. All right. So I want to put that out there. Some of the other questions I got were and actually this one that we just did about the tech layoffs, talking about the farmers. Um, not I, I, one. I don't have it here now. He was in France, France, Germany still. I don't have it pulled up anymore. I went to sleep. My phone went to sleep. Sorry. So anyway, just the protests in general around uh, the farmers, that goes in uh, alignment with the last cards that we were pulling. So that kind of pulled that topic in there as well. You can see the emperor as being like, you know, big corporations. Not all corporations are bad. I want to put that out there. Not all of them are corrupt. So let's be careful with that. Let's be careful with the polarized extremist thinking. Just be careful. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is fighting back and that feminine energy, you know, it was the, the queen of Michael. So this is this very, like, we see the clarity of the situation and we're going to speak clearly on this. So they're in that process of having their voices heard and we're going to see more of that. And when I mean more of that, we're going to see more people waking up and saying, Hey, this isn't good. And remember that is a big fear for some. Okay. That people are going to wake up. So they're going to do everything they can to make sure you remain asleep and feel powerless. So let's not. Okay. So there's that. The other ones were about floods. As I am recording this, there's a major storm system coming into California. The floods, earthquakes, natural disasters. You know, we have been saying for years and years that earthquakes are imminent. Uh, yeah. And... Yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you guys that, yeah, probably in the next, I would say year or two years. I Again, because 2024 is such a destruction year, it could be this year. Um, as far as getting prepped, and I've been telling a lot of people who get personal readings with me, uh, if you're going to prep, do so with a sense of empowerment. And I know this is going to sound weird, but with like a sense of joy. Michelle, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm talking about um, not focusing on, I'm panicking, I'm terrified for me and my family, um, going into like buzzy, low frequency survival mode. Not that, but if you can, okay, look at how well, look how resourceful I am. Look how well I can take care of myself and my family. Uh, we're going to be fine. This will bring us closer. We've been through horrible things before. We will get through this as well, right? You got to put a different energy behind this because that energy, as we believe, is going out into the collective. It's going to be aggravating. So let's not, okay? Uh, some of you also had, well, let me, let me pull a card about the floods and earthquakes because some of you obviously had questions Maybe, maybe I'll approach some of the uh, Texas questions over on the R platform. 
we're going to focus on the earthquakes, natural disasters, things like that. What, what we need to know around that. Vegas, you need to be careful. You know, you'll get more flooding probably soon. Night of Michael. I just heard uh, we got to be careful of how we handle these things. Um, get another card around this. Sense of home and stability. Here's Osriel with peace. Okay. So homes, I think, are going to be... I, Tim, okay, let's start with this. These two are basically saying, yes, homes are going to be threatened. Um, because the, the night of Michael to me is somebody going off to battle and it, it's having to do, cause the next card was about around what going to battle around what, and this is home and stability or sense of stability. So I think there's going to be a lot of shakeups around that, um, or people having to fight for protecting their homes. And then we have this peace card. So what this is telling me is obviously it's all the stuff you already know, like be prepared. But the transformation, that's what's happening here. Osriel's all about transformation. The earth is transforming. And the way we've set up our lives, okay, the way we have done things, it's being cut away. Michael is cutting the sword. It's being cut away. It's being challenged. It's being transformed. You need to be at peace with it. You need to be at peace with it. And people, the human brain is going to go, how could you say to be at peace with an earthquake or a flood? Stop it. Stop it. Nobody said that. Nobody said that. Okay. We're going to be in a big time where people are going to start getting called out for trying to manipulate the narrative um, instead of listening to what's actually coming through. We need to be at peace and work with the earth. So people in California, for example, if you're in an evacuation zone, don't, I mean, have you been living under a rock? The, <laughs> the earth ain't messing with you no more, okay? It's not like, oh, I think I'll be okay. Get on out. Now, people are saying, well, not everybody can evacuate. That's not true. Oh, she said what? It's not true. There are lots of things in place, okay? There are procedures in place to help people get removed from their situation, don't try me. I live right next to wildfires in Colorado. Literally. Me, the mountains. Right here. I had to like, doo -doo 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 -doo. I was right there. They're on fire all the time. Don't tell me there's no way you can you can't evacuate. Yes, you can. Okay. You need to make sure that you're getting with the right authorities uh, and help your neighbors out too. I mean, shoot. Again, when there was like wildfires... People were going through and being like, here, you need to hop in. Let's go. Like, let's get out of here. So you see the sense of community going on here? Um, and especially in California, California specifically. Now, for I'm talking about the United States. There are, you know, things in place. Other places may not have those same kinds of resources. So I understand that. But uh, this is, again, people helping people. And that, you know, going into like what people are calling end times and things like that. Um, we have a lot to consider. Are we going to have a repeat of the pandemic where people were all for themselves? Or are we going to be more cooperative and loving towards one another and back each other up? One of the things that I have constantly said, I'm so happy to be living where I am. First of all, my family and friends are here. Uh, my community is here. But I even live on a street where if there were a disaster, we would pull together like no one's business. I know that. I know that. Because these are kind, level-headed individuals. We have some guys on the street who are retired military. I bet they got some survival skills. You know, some of us know how to do like homesteading and things like that. So, you know, <laughs> like we're going to be okay. Why? Because of cooperation. And same kind of thing when there's a natural disaster. Help out your neighbors. If you know that there's an elderly person who can't, you know, easily be evacuated, do what you can to help. I shouldn't have to say this. There are local authorities, but please take these things seriously. Okay. I'm probably going to get a lot of backlash about that. Whatever. What's new, right? <laughs> okay. 
What was the other one? Oh, about our general spiritual growth and where things are heading. Um, because people are now starting to have more and more, uh, I don't want to call them awakening symptoms. Again, all this gets mocked. That's what the podcast is going to be all about. Uh, but seriously, people are having moments where they're having sudden realizations. That's why, you know, a personal reading, if you want to get one with me, an angelic reading, uh, angelsouls444.com, or you can email me for a live reading, angelsouls444 at gmail.com. These are the kinds of things that would be good for you to ask, you know, um, as I'm having this sudden realization, what did that just unlock in me? Where am I supposed to head with this? What am I supposed to do with this information? Because it's happening. And the more and more people deny that it's happening, the more you're going to struggle, you know? All right. So we have Knight of Gabriel. When we're talking about spiritual growth. I feel like this is a very good sign, right? You're, this is, you're, you're learning, right? People are waking up. They're just learning, but you're not brand new. Okay. You're not the page. So this is progress. <laughs> I do feel like this is progress. Oh, here's the page. So here's the thing. Having to sort of redefine and start from scratch when it comes to how we live, I think root chakra kinds of things, our sense of safety, what makes us feel safe. We're relearning how to take care of ourselves in a material way. And Gabriel is the messenger angel, okay? Sacral chakra, creative life force, uh, creative solutions, you know, that kind of thing. So we're, we're progressing. We're getting better with that. And we're in the process of mastering. Mastering what we're passionate about and what we can create. See, we're already in the process of creating a new way of living and a new way of being. So I think this is pretty beautiful. And yes, this can be seen as taking big ideas and making them manifest in this material world. So that might be restructuring how we run as a society. Okay, so we're going to leave it there for this portion. Some of these other questions I'm going to answer over at the other platform. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing, sharing, interacting with the video. Even if you can't put money towards supporting this work, that's fine. I totally understand. I would not ask that of you unless you wanted a service or something like that. But just liking, sharing, subscribing, watching the video all the way through helps out a ton. So thank you guys for that. I love you and take care.